Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A couple was found fatally shot in what police say was a murder-suicide in North Las Vegas. The married couple, both in their 40s, were found dead near East Ann Road and North 5th Street. Police believe the woman was bringing some medication to her husband when he shot her and then himself. An investigation indicated the woman had recently separated from her husband. Anyone with information about the incident is urged to call Crime Stoppers at 702-385-5555. And this is 48-year-old Devin Cordova. He is the suspect arrested in connection with a fatal hit and run in Henderson that left one person dead. Cordova is suspected of driving a white pickup truck heading east on Sunset Road just before 5.30 a.m. on Sunday. The truck went into a sidewalk, hitting a bus stop enclosure and a pedestrian before it drove off. Cordova was booked on suspicion of multiple charges. The victim has yet to be identified. And a motorcyclist died in a head-on collision with a car near Seven Magic Mountains Sunday. It happened just after 3 p.m. near Las Vegas Boulevard and Mile Marker 7. Investigators determined that the motorcyclist tried to pass the car in front of him when he collided with the car. Three women in the Honda were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The motorcyclist is believed to have been impaired at the time of the crash, but his identity has yet to be released. In more top stories, the Nevada Supreme Court has ruled that Las Vegas police violated the Nevada Public Records Act when the department failed to provide the Las Vegas Review Journal with information about an investigation into a law enforcement officer. In 2019, a reporter with the Review Journal requested a Metro Department case file for a criminal investigation. It centered around a Nevada Highway Patrol trooper who allegedly had attempted to hire a confidential informant to kill or harm his wife. Metro first claimed that they could not release records because the investigation was ongoing. They eventually released heavily redacted documents. An appeal with the Supreme Court was filed in 2021. In a unanimous decision last week, the Supreme Court found the records could be released with limited redactions. Review Journal Executive Editor Glenn Cook says that he hopes the ruling will compel Metro to be more transparent and called it, quote, a huge win for the public. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny and strong winds are in your Monday forecast. Daytime highs in the low 60s with a slight chance of showers by the afternoon. Mainly today, strong winds at 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts hitting more than 50 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Tonight, still breezy with lows in the mid to upper 30s. For the rest of the week, breezy conditions tapering off by Tuesday night. Mostly clear and sunny skies remaining. Daytime highs ranging in the mid 50s Tuesday, but increasing to the upper 70s by Friday. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Meet the developer who's breathing new life into the historic Hunt Ridge Theater. Review Journal's Jen Ah has more. Old buildings uh, have stories. Um, Las Vegas has been known to tear down, you know, iconic properties. But not 45-year-old developer Jay Dapper standing inside the Hunt Ridge Theater downtown where he once attended live concerts as a teen. A great architecture firm uh, called Ginsler. Um, they're helping us with the design and the entitlements for the project. And then we've also signed a lease with Soho Playhouse. You know, it does off-Broadway. Uh, but they also do comedy and, you know, we want to have a concert series and we want to have it be truly flexible. Dapper says the building's historic designations add extra steps in the approval process, but his goal is to begin renovations in a year. Probably that. Before that, the historic theater sign and marquee lighting ceremony will kick off at 5.30 Friday night. Really show that we have a commitment to, like, move this forward. For the Review Journal, I'm Jen Ah. The former Imperial Palace Sportsbook is making way for disco to return as part of a new dance show with a $40 million price tag. The Sledgehammers came out to make way for Spiegel World's newest edition. Six months of construction is underway for the 500 capacity venue. Disco show is set to feature a 20 person cast and will be coupled with a French American diner. It's on path for a summer 2024 premiere at the link. 
You can read all about this and more from John Katzlanides on LVRJ.com. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. Here at Cashman Field, the Vegas Vipers took home their second win of the season, defeating the San Antonio Brahmas 26-12. Head coach Rod Woodson spoke about why it's so important that the XFL sticks around. To see a guy like that who, I mean, he's been lighting our defense up for the last four weeks in practice, and I was like, man, I, I got to give him a shot. The Jalen McClendons need a leagues like this so they can show their talents. And uh, I'm hoping it's here to stay. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The CDC is sounding the alarm on a new threat that has triggered the largest outbreaks in the country right here in Southern Nevada. The Candida auris fungus has spread at a, quote, alarming rate in the U.S. The drug-resistant and potentially legal fungus has seen growth in local hospitals and long-term care facilities. This is not the new COVID-19, according to experts, as the fungus typically doesn't pose a threat to healthy individuals. It can, however, spread from surfaces where it can survive for long periods of time. To read more on this, visit LVRJ.com. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The odds are set for the NCAA Men's Championship Final between San Diego State and UConn. Connecticut are the heavy favorites at minus 350 on the money line at William Hill Sportsbook to win it all. The Aztecs come in as plus 275 underdogs. The spread is set at 7 and the total is 132.5. The Huskies defeated Miami by a margin of 13 in the Final Four. San Diego skimmed by Florida Atlantic with a dramatic buzzer beater to defeat the Owls 72-71. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Formula One is expected to bring big business to the Strip. But if you're looking for a cheap view of the race, you can forget about the sidewalks as an option. The sidewalks that line resorts on Las Vegas Boulevard will be open to foot traffic during the race. But the barriers set to be installed will all but eliminate the view for race weekend. Tickets for the Grand Prix range from $500 to more than $10,000 for multi-day access to spectator areas. The $500 general admission tickets are sold out for race weekend from November 16th through the 18th. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.